Okay, I see it. A little chubby bubby. <laughs> okay. So for the unwind protocol, a thousand hertz. Okay. I'm going to set it for 10 minutes. You might not need 10 minutes, but I can always turn it off um, versus having to turn it back on and her listen to the beep twice. So I'm actually going to work down her spinal column, but it's just off to the side. It's hard to feel in this little chubby bubby here, but just off to the side. Hi. Hi. Of the spine. Um, that way it's easy for the light to get through the vertebrae and stimulate the release of the serotonin. And I usually stay in each, you can just slowly slide down, but I tend to stay in each spot for about 10 seconds. That way it at least gives it a time to get through the tissue and really stimulate the release of serotonin. So this should help calm her down a little bit too. And it will also help to deliver pain relief to her whole body because all, as you know, all the nerves generate from the spine. So it will even reach down into her little leg. She might flop down, that's not unusual, so. She's a busybody? She's a beagle. Beagles are busybodies, right? <laughs> so kind of just a, a whilst we're standing here. Um, so as far as the laser goes, so you can enable yourself to not have to rely on the protocol manual mm -hmm. so much. Whatever you're looking at, it doesn't matter if it's dog, cat, horse, ferret. Um, hi. <laughs> it's okay. Um, when you look at something, you're going to think, okay, there's two sides to the laser. You're either stimulating something to stimulate repairing, healing, creating new cells, or you're inhibiting something, which is shutting down pain, shutting down inflammation, shutting down neuropathy. So you're going to go one way or the other. Each time you approach the animal, whatever it may be, your first question is going to be, okay, am I trying to just stop pain? Am I trying to just take away inflammation? Once you've decided on that factor, then you can decide a setting which is appropriate. All of the settings under 500 hertz are for stimulatory slash healing treatments. All the settings over 500 hertz are for inhibitory. Okay. The only time I do, you would never do the same treatments, stimulatory and inhibitory in the same place at the same time, because one will cancel out the other. So you're kind of defeating the purpose. Because one stimulates the cells, gets them active, kicking out the ATP, nitric oxide, oxygen, so they all start bugging around, reproducing themselves, healing. You're welcome. Um, the inhibitory treatments, the inhibitory doses are a lot heavier, but they actually shut everything down. They switch the cells off, so hence they shut off the pain, they shut off. So if you go somewhere with a, a stimulatory setting and get everything bugging around, and then you go right over top it with an inhibitory, the cells are going to go, ah, you don't know what you want, so I'm just right. going to do nothing. Okay. Um, so it cancels itself out. <laughs> you are a busybody. <laughs> But once you've determined whether you're trying to heal something or trying to shut something down, then you've at least halved. You've minimized which treatment, which setting you need to choose hertz-wise. So now you've only got half to choose from. So you're either going stimulatory or inhibitory. So say for an example, you, are, you had the right one, um, but for the lit granuloma, you're trying to heal. So you would have already decided, okay, this is something I'm going to stimulate. And then out of the stimulatory settings, 5 hertz, 50 hertz, and 1 to 250, or straight 250, you would just decide, okay, which one of those is most relevant to dermal, which is the 50 hertz, and you were correct. Um, anything healing, the treatment times are always short and sweet. I never really stay in the same area for more than 20 or 30 seconds, because then the dose will become an inhibitory dose, because you've delivered so many light photons, it's not stimulatory anymore. It's a bigger dose. Um, usually, if I'm using the blue light, I'll just dictate what I did with the laser with the blue light. So if I do two minutes I'll do with the laser, I'll do two minutes with the blue. That way it's easy to remember and keep track of what you've done as well.